Okay, welcome friends to the Power Selling Podcast. Today I'm joined by someone I just met and I could not wait to share her with my online community. Her name is Patty Clark and she is known as the Happy Thrifter Shopper. So thanks for joining me, Patty. Please share your story with us about how and why you came up with this name. Oh, thank you very much for having me this morning. I really appreciate that. Uh, how I actually got started was we actually have a lot in common. I think we both joined the same club because I was a power selling mom years ago <laughs> on eBay, like 20 years ago. And I, and I was a happy thrifter because I needed items for my stores. So I used to go to thrift stores. I used to go to consignment stores and state sales and garage sales. So I've always been a happy thrifter. I love so, that. So when I moved down here 20 years ago to take care of my parents, uh, actually, uh, I used to be in line paying for stuff that I wanted to list on eBay. And I would have merchants behind me or in front of me or customers say, it would be so nice if there was like a brochure out there that would list all these stores. This is Southwest Florida, this is Dennis, Florida. And so I said, we well, you know someday I'm gonna do that. I do have a degree in marketing. I've been a marketing event planner all my life. And so I ended up, was gonna start a brochure. Well, I needed to call it something. So I, and I had to design a cover. So I contacted an artist from Ringling College here in Sarasota. And said, I'm trying to find a cover for my brochure, which ended up being a newspaper. We can talk about that later. And so he said, what do you want? And I said, I want happy thrifters. I want four people that look like they're happy and they're thrifting and they're shopping. So that's how it came up with the name of the happy thrifter. I love that so much. I didn't know you had that done at Ringling. That's mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah, wow. it's, it's, a, it's a good resource for, for local talent that's somewhat overlooked. Wow, that's good to know. Good tip. Yeah, it is. That is a good tip. Um, I found your paper at a thrift store in Fort Myers a few weeks ago, and I was fascinated with it, and I had to call you. And so thanks again for taking my call and telling me more about the fantastic adventures you have going on. I really appreciate it. So what's it like managing all of these happy thrifters? Well, we do, you know, we do, is there's three parts of this, this company. And one of it is we publish a newspaper, that little brochure with the little happy thrifters on it is now a full size newspaper. And so it was a brochure, so it's really, it's really has grown. And, and so there's three parts of the company. So there is the newspaper, the happy thrifter resale guide. And it's a newspaper that we publish annually and it lists all the resale shops, thrift shops from Ocala to Naples. There's about 450 of them in this paper. Wow. It includes a map. And it also includes a story about them as well. So it's a really neat, it's really a neat read. And we have a, deli a delivery team who delivers the papers four times a year. And they love walking into the store because they hear over and over, we love the happy thrifter. We hear that constantly. So we know we're doing something right. So not only is it the newspaper, the resale guide, the happy thrifter, but we also do mystery resale shopping bus tours and now we're doing oh we're now we're doing cruises so there is three parts to this story i love the bus idea so so what's what's it like managing all these thrifters on one bus it's really a lot of fun and, and to take to step back uh, a little bit is when i started doing this brochure which ended up yeah. being the newspaper well i had girlfriends down here that I used to take to stores all over the area, Southwest Florida. And they would say, how do you know about all these places? And I said, well, you know, you get in your car and you drive. And, and this was before, you know, Google was really popular. And so, uh, so my car would only hold three women. We'd always go out to lunch. And so then more women wanted to go with me too. So my joke was always, someday I'm going to rent a bus and I'm going to put you guys all in it. So that's how the bus tour started. <laughs> so and you put that. it out there. You put I it out there in the universe. It I did. It came back. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, and so we call it a mystery resale shopping bus tour. Tours because the first time I did that, uh, I you know had a lot of interest and I had a lot of women calling me and they kept saying, "Where are you going?" I said, "Well, we're going to be in Sarasota and we're going to go to this store and we're going to go to that store." And they go, "Oh, I don't like that store. Or, I don't like the lady that works at this store. I don't <laughs> like the prices on this store." So the next time the lady called me, I said, "Well, they're all a mystery." That's how that started. Oh, good idea. Good yep. idea. And it really does put the fun into it because now our tagline is we put the fun into resale adventures, whether it's a newspaper, you're taking a road trip using the newspaper, whether you're on a bus trip or you're on a cruise ship. 
So uh, when you're on the bus, do you have more than one stop? Yes, we have four to five stops depending on the location. And so we call these shop till you resale drop events because you're gone all day from like eight in the morning till 530 at night. Wow. And, and sometimes you're stuck in traffic because we know how Florida is during the season. And we know that 75 is like the popular route. And a bus, a 50 foot motor coach bus can't take shortcuts like we can. So we're stuck. And so sometimes we're stuck in traffic over an hour and there's nothing we can do. Now, what we've done to add that fun back into our resale adventures is we do watch movies. We do eat popcorn. Oh. You're allowed to bring wine on the bus if you'd like. So we do try to accommodate those long times in the traffic that we can't, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh my goodness. So you can even bring wine. <laughs> you can even bring wine. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love that. Um, it's amazing that, you know, all these women, I mean, is it mostly women or is there men and women? Yeah, good question. We always have, we always have mostly women on the bus, but we always have about four men on our bus. And so okay. two of them are resellers. And they're actually looking for nautical or military stuff to resell. Love and there's it. one that loves being with his wife and goes along with his wife as a tag along. And then there's one who's a, we call him a sourpuss. And he doesn't want to be there. He wants to get off the bus. He wants to go home as soon as possible and turn on that TV. So every time we take a photo, we always ask him to step aside because he just won't smile. He's a sourpuss. So... Oh, I love it. But he's a, he, um, he's a good sport. Long. Good sport. Yeah, he, he is a, he is a good sport. We make the best of it. And we, you know, we enjoy his company. I love that. <laughs> I also love looking at your Facebook page. Everyone. Oh, you. Yes. It's so impressive. Everyone check it out and like it on Facebook because you'll love the photos. Mm -hmm. They're very clever with the, the sayings on your photos and the updates and just type in the happy thrifter shopper and you'll find it on Facebook listed as a newspaper, but it's so much more than a newspaper. It, it, it really is. Thank you for saying that. Now our Facebook address, we've actually changed it. Now it's the, it's the happy thrifter resale guides and tours, okay. but we've been around for seven years. And so if you Google it, you'll find us on many multiple sites listed. So it's not hard to find us. So it's the happy thrifter. So. Oh, good. Yeah, because so many of us resellers are going to want to take your bus trips. <laughs> There's no doubt because it's just so convenient. Um, when I drove up to Fort Myers, I went there because I found a meetup group and they weren't very organized and mm -hmm. they didn't show up. And so I was really disappointed. But it all came out because I met a lovely lady. I made a new friend, another mm -hmm. thrifter. And then we found your newspaper. <laughs> it was just meant to be. Yes. Yes. So, um, but so there's so much more than the newspaper. So we've got the newspaper, the bus tours, the cruises. So tell right. us. Yeah, the cruises are really fun. When I celebrated our sixth year in business, now we're in our seventh year. I told my husband that I was going to have a celebration party and invite everybody on the cruise ship. And so that's kind of how that started. So we're only doing four year. We're not doing a lot because, you know, we are quite busy with the newspaper and also the bus tours as well. So we're doing four a year. And so our 2024 schedule is out. And actually, I, I'd like to announce that we have you as a guest speaker in March. So I'm so excited. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. To, I'm so excited to have you. Thank and so you. what we do on the ship, we call them O-Ship Florida Girls Thrifting Trips. Love and it. So it's a four-night event, and the events are on the ship. So when we dock in Cozumel or the Bahamas, you're on your own to wander off and have lunch yeah. at, at Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville or, or uh, Senior Frogs. Or you can take yeah. excursions. There's many excursions to take. So the events are on the ship. So we have a, we have a makeshift thrift store on board where we take three state rooms and turn it into a thrift store. We ask you to bring five small items and you get to exchange them. So it's like a thrift store and it is like a, it will look like a thrift store and everything is free. So that's really fun. <laughs> there's also a bar there as well. And oh. then we also have guest speakers like you on resale shopping and thrifting. And then at the end, we have a farewell party and we call it the mini pearl cocktail and fashion show. So we want you to wear your favorite dress or your hat with the, with a tag still on it. Tell us where you bought it, how much you paid for it. It's really a great, it's a, it's really a fun trip. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I am, I'm so excited about that part, especially because I'm 
um, a Royal Caribbean fan, and I was happy that it was on Royal Caribbean. So that's an added bonus. Well, sure, and especially those Royal, those people that are loyal to Royal, and they're maybe a Diamond member, or you know, they get all kinds of ex extra perks. So that's really that's really cool. And they go out of Tampa, so it's not you know it's not very far away. I mean, we're lucky and blessed to be close to a port. Yes, absolutely. So um, actually, I think that one goes out of Miami. Oh, it does. Yeah, the last yeah. two go out of Miami. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yep. <clears throat> oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah, that's coming up. That's coming up. Yeah, that is coming up. Yeah, yeah. that's coming up. I yeah. was. I, I keep eyeballing it and <laughs> checking on it because there's still there's still seats on that ship. There, there are still seats. Yeah, because the, the you know the ship holds six thousand. Yeah. People. So there's still room. Now you, you can go ahead and book stateroom. You just won't get the group rate. Now that's right. But right. Of course yeah, you can still get a room. And if you're a diamond member or some type of other level member, then you might right. be able to get a good rate anyway. Yeah. So if you're listening, that's in September mm -hmm. and it's September. Yeah. It's, it, yeah it's, it's in September. I think it's September 11th, I think, but it's Port Canaveral to the Bahamas. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Port Canaveral to the Bahamas. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I really am thinking about it, but I actually already booked a cruise for New Year's Eve, and yep. so and it's a seven day, and so it's gonna interrupt, and then it'll be too close to your February one, yeah. and then when I learned that you had one leaving on May thirteenth, that is my birthday, and yeah, that's, so I'm that was excited. perfect. Yeah, so that was a, a clue that I had to attend that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That was your sign. Yes, my yep. sign. So thank you so much for inviting me. Sure. Well, you know, on January 2nd is our first one in 2024. That's and right. I've met many people that just take back to back cruises. So that would be it. That would be another option for you. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how they do that. They just go from cruise ship to cruise ship and yep. they have all their stuff in a, in a, storage yep. you know some of them have sold their houses and they I know. just <laughs> yeah that, that's a, those are good stories very good stories wow um what about what about have you done any thrifting at this port no we don't do that just for safety reasons we I just don't, we just don't do that and the thrift stores and resale shops are not very it's not as popular as they are here and really not as popular as they are in Southwest Florida, because that's the success of our business is there's a whole big community. Thrift shopping tourism is big in this area. And I'm so glad I'm bringing this to the surface and working with the tourist boards and, and PBS and everything to let them know, hey, this is this is something, this is a destination. I mean, yeah, going to the beach is fun, but you know, if you don't want to go to the beach and it's raining, you don't want to go to Publix, Go thrifting, pick up the paper, start. <laughs> I love that. And you're so right about the ports because when uh, my friend Debbie and I went to the Bahamas and we're like, oh, let's find a thrift store. And then when we started to venture out, I was like, is this safe? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it was like, I don't know. I don't know if we should go do this. So we, we didn't. Yeah, and that's good. It's always good to trust your own judgment. And I think yeah. it would be fun to go to Areas like in Ireland have charity shops or, you know, oh, the right. designated areas. Th that would be kind of cool. Maybe that, yeah. maybe we'll do that our 10th anniversary. Oh, I'm going to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when is your 10th? Uh, well, we're entering our seventh year, so we've got three more years. Congratulations. Seven years. That's mm -hmm. very impressive. Thank you very, very much. Impressive. Yeah, it was, just my, it was just my husband and I. It was just a hobby because I was always a reseller. And I thought about doing the brochure and now we have 23 independent contractors. We're celebrating our seventh year. You know, we were just featured on PBS and now we're doing a podcast with you. So, you know, all is good. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. So two questions for you now. Mm -hmm. What was your most memorable cruise and most memorable bus trip that you've had so far? I think the bus trips, what I really like about the bus trips is really the fellowship of everybody on the bus because you're riding a bus with people who love thrifting. And we love that. And we have an entry form that we pass around and we ask like, what's the best thing you like about thrifting? What's your pet peeve about thrifting? Where are you from? What's your name? So we use that throughout the whole duration of the tour to get to know everybody better. So by the end of the tour, you really get to know these people, like where they're from, 
you know, what they don't like, what they do like, what they're looking for when they're in thrift stores or resale shops. And, you know, they're buying for their pets or their grandparents or their kid, their grandkids. Uh, yeah. So it's really interesting. So the most memorable, I think, happened was with COVID. You think, wow, COVID, that's not very memorable. Well, with COVID, our bus tours were always on hold. They were never, they were never canceled, but they were just rescheduled. And so that gave me an opportunity to step back and kind of call these merchants and say, you know what, our bus tours are on hold. So I have a question, how much money did we bring in your store when we parked that 50 foot bus in front of your store? Mm -hmm. And so they all gave me, some some knew exactly and some gave me an estimate. So we had 23 bus tours under our, bu or under our belt, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And we had, we had brought back to the resale community $218,000. Wow. That's a lot of money. That That's, is. Yep. And so not only do, is that really great for the resale community, but you think about all the nonprofits. And so that really fed their mission. And we love that. I mean, so we're helping migrant workers and senior citizens and, and uh, homelessness and veterans and people who love cats and dogs. It really fed their missions. And we love that we're, we were a part of that. So that, that, was a, that was the most memorable thing about my tours is what yeah. we did with the community. Yeah, and then how about the cruise? The cruise, we've only done we've only done two. Two, And okay. so we have our third one. So memorable ones, I think, is, I, I just maybe funny stories, is when I was on the, but when I was on the um, elevator and I was wearing a dress heading out to the Mini Pearl Fashion Show and Cocktail Hour, and it was a dress that I bought at Goodwill for $3.99. <laughs> and I was on the elevator with about 20 people, and they said, one of the ladies, bent over and whispered in my ear and said, I love your dress. It's glittery. It's bling. I love it. But you left the tag on. And I said, well, I'm going to a mini pearl cocktail hour. And she said, follow that girl when the, when the elevator stopped. And they all follow me back up to the room. They wanted to know what I was doing. They didn't <laughs> think that was a real thing. I love it. So you made new friends. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, they're probably was, booking their trips to Florida. Sure. Yeah, that was really fun. They they didn't they didn't believe me. So it was really it was really cute. So when I walked into the room, I mean they you know, it's like, wow, look at all these other people. I said, I just met them on an elevator. They wanted to see I, what we were doing. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's so much fun on cruise ships. You it meet is. so many fun people. It is, yeah. I agree. So I bet the thrift stores, obviously, they're happy having you come there. Do any of them run specials? Well, there is there is a criteria that they have to do to, to help us make our bus tours what they are. Because not only do we put the fun in resale adventures, I mean, we need their partnership to do that. And so we do ask that they provide a discount for our, our, our bus patrons. We call them resale queens once they're on our bus. Okay. And and so we do, offer, we do ask that they offer discount because they're in the store for an hour. And then they wear a special wristband that says, I'm a happy thrifter. And so they discreetly go up to the counter and proudly point to that because they know they get a discount. And that way it doesn't interfere with the other customers that are already in the store. That's right. And so we've kind of figured that out. So they're really proud. We have women that still wear 11 or 12 of them when we pick them up for a bus tour. They're, they're that loyal to those, those bus tours. So gotcha. the merchants do offer a discount. We do ask that they bring, they have a snack table set up, something small. Uh, there, some merchants go out of their way and have cheese, cheese trays and grapes and wine, and some just have cookies and coffee, and uh, which is really good because we're bringing women from all over the state of Florida. And some of them live here, some of them are visiting. That's why, you know, we're, I'm really trying to push thrift store, thrift shopping tourism to the state of Florida. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a big thing. It's just, it's, it's so different than you'd ever expect. It is, it is. And I'm actually going to a meetup next week in um, Zephyr Hills. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to share with all <laughs> the people there because it's a reseller, it's an eBay reseller meeting. Yeah. And I can't wait to share with them about your trips. Oh, well, thank you. Well, another thing that we do ask for the merchants is that they donate a door prize. Oh. And, and so they always say, well, what's the best door prize? I said, women love purses. So find a really nice purse you have and fill it up. And so then we ask those merchants to get on the bus, pick a door prize winner from our stash of names, and then get on the microphone and thank all these women for coming to their store and what their mission is if they're a nonprofit. So, and they love that opportunity. It's a great social media opportunity for them. And 
Yeah. So we love that. So we think it's a win-win for all of us. Oh my goodness. So then before they leave, you draw yes. tickets. Do they uh -huh. get tickets? Mm -hmm. I love that. Do all yeah. the stores do that or all the stores do that? The ones on our bus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That oh is, my that's goodness. Just, yep. So I mean when you're walking away and they also they also get swag bags and we give swag bags away on the bus too. So you might be on the bus with only just a couple things, but when you get off the bus, it's packed. I mean you have so much stuff in your hands. We love that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Do they have to use the the coach area underneath the bus to put everything? The bay, yeah, the bay of the bus is it can hold bookcases, bicycles, flower <laughs> pots. So what we ask for the merchant or the bus patrons, and we you know we've learned this is to bring a bag, a huge bag with a piece of masking tape, and you put your name on it, and or a Rubbermaid tote with your name on it, or a suitcase with wheels, which actually works out really well. Yeah. And so that way, after each stop, they can take that purchase or purchases. Maybe they bought a lot of stuff and yeah. they can put it in that big bag or that big suitcase or that big Rubbermaid tote. Because when we get to the initial parking lot and we've been stuck in traffic for over an hour and a half, it could be dark. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's really nice to say, oh, there's my suitcase. And you grab it out underneath the bay of the bus. You're in your car. You're already on 75. And we're still on. The, we're still you know, trying to get yeah. everybody together and all their stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it's really that's really fun. So pe when I tell people that when they call me about the bus tours, I said a suitcase. So like, a suitcase. I think yeah, or a big Rubbermaid tote. It's like you're taking fifty women shopping all day. Yeah. And they're buying something all day. <laughs> oh my goodness! And then do does everybody meet and get dropped off at the same place? Good question. We have pickup locations based on the cities. Okay. So you, you, know, you choose the cities from, well, from Ocala to Naples, and then you just, you'd have to like contact us or look on our, on our website, which is www.thehappythriftershopper.com. And it has our bus tour schedule. It has photos of us in the news. It has a lot of photos of our bus trips and also our merchants who gladly receive the papers and pass them out. And so there's a lot of information on our website. Okay, good. Yeah, definitely check it out. I, I really loved looking at the pictures <laughs> and everything you have going on. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. So since you are also, um, so you're, are you selling online now? Do you have time? No, I haven't. I haven't sold online in seven years. Yeah. It, it has just been too, too yeah. uh, consuming, but it, it, yeah. it turned to ho it turned into a hobby. I was retired and it was a hobby. And okay. now, it's, now it's a full time, but it's great because I love what I do. I mean, who doesn't Absolutely. love what you do? Yeah. You know, I, I love when we, I mean, I deliver papers sometimes locally. And every time I walk into the store, we, they always say, oh, there she is, the happy thrifter. I mean, oh, that's, that's great. That's we love nice. that. Yeah, absolutely. So since you do have some resellers and, and all types of thrifters, mm -hmm. what uh, can you share a couple of thrifting insider tips that maybe we don't know? Well, I know that, uh, you know, we have a lot of resellers on our bus. And so, and a lot of them are local. And so I always see them. And so I go, oh, well, you live in Venice and you're on our bus. So you know where all the shops are. It's like, well, we take, we take your bus trips because the discounts, we get 75% off, sometimes buy one, get one free. Wow. It pays off for us to buy a bus ticket knowing for that hour and we've already scouted these places we don't know where you're going but we have a good idea so <laughs> they've been scouting those places prior like for furniture or whatever to flip and you know they are hoping that we stop there because of the discounts so we see a lot of resellers and so i think the best tip I i've always thought is just buy what you like you know there's some people that are so focused on name brands or whatever. And I don't know crystal. I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't yeah. know. And so I just think you should just buy what you like. Yeah. If you, you like know, it. I mean, it. it really is just the fun of it. And if you don't like it, recycle it, start all over again. That's it. And it, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. Yep. You should buy it. <laughs> yeah. And it's really neat because on the, you know, you're with them all day. And so you get to yeah. know them. And so you get to find out what they like. And so they're really happy and proud to say, look what I found this Waterford crystal clock. And yeah. so they, they, they're, they're proud to show their finds and we love that. We take photos of that too. So. Love it. Yeah. So we do group bus tours, which are really fun. We get a lot of communities and subdivisions that rent our bus for a private bus tour. 
Wow. So they pick the city. We provide the bus tour guides, the driver, all the fun, everything. And so that's really a, a, another facet of our business is our private bus tours. And then we also have some that their communities are not large enough for 50 seats. So they rent half the bus. And the other half is the happy thrifter and the back is, is their private bus tour. So that's really fun. And we have entertainers on our bus and they're all themed related and they're really, they're really fun. That's really amazing. You have developed it into such a fun thing to do that it's, why wouldn't you want to do it? My mother, she's in Ocala. And then I said, mom, you could, you could get on the bus in Ocala and then I'll jump on in Sarasota, yep. <laughs> you know? So I was thinking, could people do things like that? It, they'd have to figure out what our pickup locations are. Right. Because right. what we, what we always told everybody, either you're going to be lucky and only be 15 minutes away from a, from a pickup yeah. location, or you could be 35 or 40 minutes from a pickup location. And you think about, you know, when we were on PBS, uh, our little segment, which you can yeah. view on our website at thehappythriftershopping.com, yeah, we got over 700 phone calls. And so we had women from Jacksonville. Can you pick us up? No, we don't, we don't go that far. <laughs> so we see a lot of women from all over Orlando, Jacksonville, that are just coming down here for that reason and staying at a hotel the night before, or they visit, yeah. or they know somebody that lives in Venice or Sarasota or Bradenton or wherever yeah. and then spending the night. So I That's love really that. Cool. There, there's some amazing thrift shops in in uh, Jacksonville. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's far, kind of far. That's a far away trip. Being <laughs> overnight, maybe. So. Yeah, it's something to kick around because there's a, a road. I can't remember what road it is, and it's just loaded with thrift stores. Wow. So you never know. Never know. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so, do you have any final words? Well, I, you know, I think just have, you know, have fun thrifting and it, it really is the thrill of the hunt and uh, boy, we, we all enjoy it and you have the, you get the bug at an early age and it just never goes away. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this has been fantastic. It's been such a pleasure to virtually, I got to start over. <clears throat> I got a frog. I hate that. You need to have that Key West coffee cup. <laughs> okay well this has been fantastic it's such a pleasure to virtually meet you i cannot wait to attend a few of your trips i'm going to sign up for several i think this service you offer is wonderful for our community and all of the thrift stores it's a win-win supporting local businesses is huge so keep up the good work and thank you thank for you. taking the time to speak with me today. Oh, you're welcome. It, it was really fun. Thank you very much too, for the pleasure. I appreciate that. And we'll, right, see you, we'll see you on a cruise in May. Absolutely. And I'll <laughs> see you soon. I'll see you before okay. that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have something here too. Can you, can you see that? Yes. Yes, that's, I can. That's our happy thrifters. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. And, and and so we have the happy, this, these are the original happy thrifters. And then when we brought out to Tampa, we had our thrifters look more hipper and more eclectic because it's a younger group, but it's the same people. It's a, it's a, he just like dressed them up like dolls. <laughs> I love that. And, and I noticed how thick it is. There was like a second whole section. nother section. Yeah. It was, it's a away. huge. It's a huge paper. It's a yeah. big paper. Yeah. And we mail out 400 papers every month. And so you can go on our website and order one online. There you go. Go so order a paper. Yeah. So if you can't find one at a merchant store, because I, I send I send everybody to these stores and then they say, hey, they're already out. So it's like, well, maybe it's easy because of gas prices and time. Just yeah. order one online. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good top tip. So everybody go order a paper because it's fascinating. It's great reading. And I haven't even finished reading all of mine because I, I look at it a little bit each day, but it's got great information in it. So thank you again and keep oh, up the welcome. good work. Your family must be very proud of you. Oh, they are. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Patty. All right. Thank you too. All right. Bye-bye.